my gosh, this is so crazy. Okay, this is the first time I've done anything live, so um, I am so nervous. <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. Ugh. Um, okay. This is like the craziest experience right now. Um, ugh, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna wait a couple um, minutes and just let everybody arrive um, and then we'll get started. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. You guys, thank you so much. I was like, what if nobody shows up? It's honestly so crazy being um, back in the studio and it's just so quiet. I miss you guys so, so, so much. The studio really is just four walls. Um, you, the community, completely bring it to life. And I can't wait until we can all come back into this space and fill it with your energy, your laughter, your smiles. Um, yeah, this is such a crazy thing that we're all going through together. Uh, but I do, I do think there is comfort in knowing that we are all going through this together. When we get started, I'll probably turn the comments off um, so you can see the practice a little bit better. Um, yeah. It is bringing the biggest smile on my face seeing all you people joining in. gosh, this is awesome. Oh, I miss all of you guys so, so, so much. Okay, I think, I think I'm gonna get started. I want to chat a little bit. Um, this is also the weirdest thing, just talking into a phone. Um, this is so crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, here we go. So I want to first just say a huge thank you um, for an outpour of messages. When I first closed the studio, it honestly took me, I think, three days to get through responding to everyone's messages and it really was the only thing keeping me going. Um, I really felt so paralyzed in my feelings of being so overwhelmed with having to close the studio again um, following the renovation. We were open a short five weeks and in those five weeks we were just thriving. Um, it was amazing. I was in the position of hiring three more um, employees and the studio was buzzing and things were just incredible. And then this happened and everything has been on a complete standstill. Um, and it's taken me this time, these past couple weeks to really um, find the, the mental strength to, to do this. And to be honest, the online world just freaks me right out. So I want to say a huge thank you to uh, instructors, um, Laura and Sheldon. You guys kind of gave me a little kick and were like, you can do this. I want to say a huge thank you to Anne, who volunteered hours <laughs> um, and helped me do this. This would not have happened um, without her. Um, and I want to say a huge thank you to our amazing instructor, Brittany, because she single-handedly went out and raised $875 for the studio for Chi Junkie and also for Be Hot. 
Um, and I can't tell you how much that financial support is needed right now because overnight every single revenue stream has completely just stopped. And I want to bring awareness to the crisis that's happening to small businesses. One in four small businesses will not recover from this closure. One in four businesses will not survive this and will permanently have to close. Um, this is a massive crisis for all small businesses and running a small business is friggin' hard. But having to navigate through this pandemic is probably like the scariest thing I've had to experience as a small business owner in six years. Um, there are just so many unknowns and when you've got overhead expenses that keep coming in relentlessly um, and no revenue to support the studios, it's really scary. Uh, instructors, independent contractors who we love are out of work. Um, they also have zero dollars coming in and they still have expenses. This is why donations, this is why support is so, so needed right now. I want to say thank you to everyone who has donated, who has helped, who has bought retail, who has um, kept memberships going. I know first and foremost that we all need to take care of ourselves first. Um, and if you can, if you can offer support to the small businesses that you love, um, I really, really encourage you. Support local, support small, do whatever you can. Every single thing helps. And if you are um, affected financially, if you've been laid off, if you've lost your job, um, please take care of yourself. And you can still support, you can still help, you can repost, you can write a Google review, you can bring awareness to what's happening to small businesses. Um, all help, all support is needed. I am going to fight so hard to keep the studio going over the next few months, but I can't fight alone. I really, really need you, the incredible Tree Junkie community, to stand beside me and fight with me in whatever way you can do so that when we can reopen, we can come back to this amazing place that we have as a community built together. Um, okay, that being said, let's do some friggin' yoga. <laughs> um, I'm not going to play music um, for this. I'm going to move you through a 45 minute sweat flow, um, all levels class. Um, but you can jump on Spotify. Um, all my playlists are public under my first and last name, Rochelle Winson, and just crank up the music, get lost in the music, enjoy the movement. As usual, modify, do what you need to do, feel good. Um, I'm just so excited to be doing this with you all. Um, and then last little thing before I turn comments off, is there anything that anybody wants to do in this practice? Um, shout it out in the comments now, otherwise in like 30 seconds I'm going to shut that off and then get started. Um, anything, anything at all? All right, we've got five seconds. <laughs> um, shoulders, okay sweet. Anything in particular? I think we all need a really good stretch. Jackie, you wanna sweat? All right, hip openers, okay, shoulders, hip openers. We wanna sweat. All right, sweet, all right. Okay, I love you guys, this is awesome. Let's, uh, let's do this. Comments are going off. Okay. So let's start in child's pose. Um, just bring your big toes together. Take your knees nice and wide. And then let yourself just settle right on in. And then just start to close your eyes. And just feel the weight of your hips sink heavy towards the heels of your feet. And then just let your forehead just press gently right into your mat. And then just close your eyes, listen to the sound of my voice. And then start to focus in on your breath. And even though we're apart, we are together in this experience right now. And then just breathe into the space of your back. And just start to feel sensations of slowing down. Allow any physical tension in the face, in your jaw, 
just to start to soften and release. And just start to surrender right into the stillness. Any distractions around you, just allow them to release. And just surrender right into your breath. And take a nice big full breath right into the space of your back. Nice easy exhale release. And then just staying in your child's pose. Maybe move the hips side to side. Maybe spread the fingers wide. Extend your arms. And just start to create a little energy into your child's pose. And then nice and slow, start to walk your arms off towards the right side, breathing into the space of your left ribs, taking a nice full breath all the way in and all the way out. See if you can get heavier into that left sit bone down towards the left heel, extending, stretching left fingers. And then nice and slow, move through center. Take it all the way over towards the left side. Breathing into the space of the right side ribs. Getting heavier into the right sit bone down towards the right heel. And then just continuing to send the breath into the space of the right side ribs. Take one more breath. And then nice and slow, returning back to center. And then nice and easy, let's bring ourselves up into a tabletop shape. Hips stack over knees, shoulders stack over wrists, spread the fingers wide, and then start to move through cat-cow. Inhale, opening the chest, sitting bones lift, belly drops. And then exhale, round. Scoop the belly in, press actively into your hands, pop the shoulder blades right up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, extend, coming into cow. Just taking this nice and slow. And then exhale, round. Now taking your cat cow, move at your own pace. Maybe exploring bits of organic, intuitive movement in your cat cow. Just moving in a way that awakens, honors, opens your body right up. And then just finding a few more rounds of your cat cow. And then maybe there's a spot, cat or cow that feels better, maybe just sit or steep hole there. One more breath. Come into neutral spine, let's curl toes, hover the knees one inch. Spread the fingers wide, actively press, strong into your hands, scoop the belly in, breathing here, feeling the heat start to build into the body for three. Breathe for two. For one, now slowly extend up and back into your first downward facing dog, pedaling out through the feet. Stay connected into the hands, spread the fingers wide, just settling in. If hamstrings feel tight, low back feels tight, take a soft, easy bend into the knees. If your shoulders feel tight, turn the fingers out. Create a little bit more space for the upper back, shoulders. And let's just settle in here for two more breaths. You can close your eyes, soften your jaw, soften the gaze. Take one more breath. And then nice and slow, let's wave the body forward into plank. Pop the shoulder blades right up. Scoop the belly in. Stay really strong. Breathing here for three, for two, for one. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Full breath right in through the nose. Exhale right out of your mouth. Good. And then just settling into your downward dog. Three more breaths. You can move. You can find stillness. Your choice. Stay connected into your hands, all 10 finger pads pressing strong into the mouth. Take one more breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then start to wave the body forward, plank, nice strong plank. Scoop the belly in, breathing here for three, for two, for one. Hips up and back, downward facing dog, full breath, right in through the nose, exhale right out of your mouth. Good, just pedal it out for three. For two, and one, nice and slow, let's step right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, melt and fold right into your legs. 
Presses the feet, inhale, rise. Take the arms all the way up. Stand tall, pull the energy right up. Press strong into the feet. Energy right through the legs, all the way through the fingertips. Open the heart. And then exhale, hinging at the hips, melt into the legs. This time, interlace hands behind the back, open chest and shoulders. Let your head fully release. Let your jaw soften. Take one more breath. And then nice and easy, release the hands. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, melt, step back, plank. Let's stay in plank, nice and strong. Scoop the belly in, breathe for three, for two, for one. Modify or full chatter on the bend at the elbows. Inhale, press through to your back, then baby cobra upward facing. Pause here, feel the collarbones wide. And then exhale, release downward facing dog. Breathe for five. Settling into your downward dog. Slow the breath. Take one more, all the way in through the nose. Exhale out, nice and easy. Step through the right foot, step the left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, melt. Press into the feet, rise. Come all the way up. Press the finger pads together. Open the heart, open the chest. Take the back bend if you choose. Strong through your legs. Breathe for three. For two. And one. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Melt into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step back, plank, stay in your plank, hold, breathe, nice and strong, whole belly in, press strong into your hands for three, for two, for one, chaturanga with control, slow, inhale, press through, take your back bend upward facing your baby cobra, and then exhale, release, downward dog, downward dog, take three breaths, so you can find a little bit more length into the backs of the legs, sitting bones lift. Keep pressing actively into all 10 finger pads. Take one more breath. And then from here, step the right foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Take your high lunge. Ground down strong into the front heel. 90 degree angle into the front leg. Breathing for three. For two. Then the elbows open the chest. And then take the left hand to the floor. Take the right arm up, twist. And then take that right arm, sweep it right to the front of the room, open through the chest, draw the left side ribs under. Reach, breathe three. For two. For one, step it back, plank. Stay in plank, hold, nice and strong. For three. For two, slow control, chaturanga. Inhale, press through, upward facing. And then exhale, release, downward facing dog. Cleanse the breath right in through the nose. Exhale right out of your mouth. Good. Stay in your downward dog for one more breath. Exhale, release. Take the left foot. Step it all the way up in between your hands. Press down strong to the feet. Inhale. Take the arms right up. Grounding down strong into the front heel. Extend through the back leg. Take one more breath. Bend the elbows. Open the chest. Holding here for three. For two. And then release right hand to the floor, left arm up, twist. Keep extending through the back leg. And then from here, take the left arm, reach it all the way forward, opening it up. Draw right side ribs under, breathe. And then nice and slow release. Step back, plank. Nice and slow, move through your flow, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, release, downward dog. Take a full breath right in through the nose. Exhale right out of your mouth. And then from here, take your right leg back. Hug the right knee in towards the nose. Breathe. Inhale, right leg extends. Right knee, right tricep. Inhale, take it back. Right knee, left tricep. Hold. Breathe three. For two. For one. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, release. Downward dog. Full breath in your downward dog, all the way in through the nose. Exhale, right out of your mouth. Good, one more breath. And then take the left leg back. Left knee hugs right into your nose. Inhale, take it back. Left knee, left tricep, hold. And then take it back. Left knee, right tricep, hold here for three. Push into your hands, two. And one, plank. Chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale, release downward facing. Full breath right in through the nose, right out of your mouth. Go right foot forward, high lunge. Inhale, take the arms up. 
From here, start to interlace the hands behind the back, open the chest and the shoulders. Press really strong into the right heel. Holding here for three. Breathe for two. And one, release, take the arms up. And then start to hover the torso over the right thigh. Reach the arms back. Draw the right hip back a touch. Keep pressing into the ball of the back, firm the back leg up, one more breath. And then release, step back plank. Move through your flow. Know that you can always skip the flow at any point. Take rest when you need to rest. Downward dog, one breath, all the way in. Exhale, release. Good, from here. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. And again, pressing strong into the left heel. Extend all the way through the back leg. And then interlace hands behind the back. Open the chest, open the shoulders. Breathing here. Slowing the breath. Feel the shoulders open. Take one more. And then from here, take the arms up. Start to hover the torso over the left thigh. Reach your arms straight back. Active right through the fingers, triceps, one more breath. And then nice and easy release. Step back plank, move through your flow. Once you arrive in downward dog, cleanse the breath. All the way in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. And then take the right leg back. Bend the right knee, open up the hip. Breathe. Keep working to press into all 10 finger pads, square the shoulders. And then from here, step the right foot all the way through, open up, warrior two. Warrior two, 90 degree angle into the front leg. Keep extending through the arms, through the fingers, breathing. Take a soft gaze over the right fingers. Soft through the shoulders and keep the energy right out through the fingers. Take one more breath. Take your reverse. Breathing to the right side ribs. Maintain that 90 degree angle into that front leg. Take one more breath. And then from here, right forearm, right thigh, left arm reaches, extend. Breathe for three, for two. Let's press strong into the feet, take it up and back, reverse. One more, right arm, right leg, reach the left arm forward, breathe. Focusing on pressing actively to the feet, drawing the right side ribs under, one more. Reverse. And then wiggle the hands right down. Move through your flow, back to downward facing. And then downward dog, cleanse the breath. All the way in through the nose, exhale right out of your mouth. One more breath. Good, take the left leg back, bend the knee, open up the hip, breathe. Keep the shoulders square, keep pressing into all 10 finger pads. And then step left foot all the way through, opening up left side warrior two. And again, working that 90 degree angle into the front leg. Extend through the arms, breathe. Keep pressing into the feet, strong to the outer edge of your back foot, soft through the shoulders. And just pause here, one breath. And then nice and easy, start to take your reverse. Breathing into the left side ribs. Maintaining that 90 degree angle into that left leg. And then from here, left forearm, left thigh, right arm reaches. Find one nice long line from that back foot all the way through the fingers. And then from here, reverse. And then extend. Keep reaching, extending, breathing. Draw left side, it's under open the heart, one more breath. And then let's take it up and back, reverse last time. Nice and easy release. Windmill the hands down, move through your flow, back to downward facing dog. And then cleanse the breath, all the way in through the nose, exhale right out of your mouth. Let's keep moving, take the right foot forward, inhale, arms up, high lunge. Let's take eagle arms left on top of right. You can either work the bind or you can bring hands to tops of shoulders. From here, keep that 90 degree bend, breathe. And then if it's there, you can take the reverse, otherwise you stay upright for two. For one, release the hands, it turns into a hamstring stretch. 
Both hands frame the front foot. You extend through the front leg. And then work the hips right into center. See if you could inhale, lengthen through the spine, breathe. And take two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Bend through the right leg. Step that plank. Move through your flow back to downward facing. And then cleanse the breath. Right in through the nose, right out of your mouth. Got one more all the way in. All the way out. Then left foot forward. Inhale, arms up. High lunge. Good. This time, eagle arms right on top of left. Or you bring hands to tops of shoulders. And then just breathe here. Work the elbows up away from the torso. Option one, you stay upright. Option two, you take your reverse. Breathing here. And a nice and easy release. Hands frame the front foot. You extend through the front leg. Don't force it. Hug the hips into center. See if you can lengthen through the spine. Breathe. Hamstrings are really tight. Keep that bend into the front knee. Don't force the stretch. Good. Take one more breath. And nice and easy. Let's release. Step back plank. Move through your foot. Cleanse the breath, right in through the nose, right out of your mouth. From here, step the right foot all the way through, lower the left knee down. Make sure you've got enough space between the front and the back legs so the hips have room to really stretch through. And then either bring the hands right on top of the knee or take the arms up. Pull up, try not to sink down, lift up, active. And then hold on to the left wrist, take your side stretch, breathing here for three. For two, for one, hands frame the front foot, send the hips back, lengthen through the right leg, lengthen through the spine as much as possible. And take three full breaths all the way in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathing into the sensation of the stretch. Good, take one more breath. And then nice and slow, step into the right foot. Step back, plank. Stay in your plank. Option one, hold center plank. Option two, take right side plank. Any variation of your choice, you choose. If you want to open this up and take a wild thing, feel free. Left foot comes behind, press pelvis up. Your choice for three. Breathe, two. And one. Either staying in center plank or coming back to center plank. Hold one breath, nice and strong. Take your flow back to downward facing. And then cleanse the breath. All the way in through the nose, out through the mouth. Got one more breath. And then from here, take the left leg up and back. Step it through, lower the right knee down. Again, finding enough space between the front and the back leg to let the hips release. You either keep both hands right on top of your knee or you take your arms up. And then from here, you can hold on to the right wrist, take the side stretch, breathing right into the right hip flexor. Good. Just breathe for three, for two, and one. Bring the hands down, send the hips back, take your hamstring stretch, lengthen through the spine, breathe. Nice and slow, right in through the nose. You can exhale right out of your mouth. Breathing into the sensation of the stretch. Good. Take one more breath. And then nice and slow, pressing into the left foot. Step back plank. So again, you're either holding your center plank or you're pressing firm into the left hand. Take side plank, left side. From here, you can turn this into any variation of your choice. Or you can move into wild thing, your choice. Breathing here for three, for two, for one. Release, come into plank, hold center plank. For three, for two, chaturanga. Inhale, press through, upward facing. Release, downward facing. You're gonna either pause and hold downward facing dog or you can come bring the knees down and take child's pose and rest. And then just take three breaths, right in through the nose, right out of the mouth. Nice and easy, just take your rest. 
If you're in downward dog, just hold. Let's take one more breath. If you're in child's pose and you need a little bit more time, please stay. Otherwise, find downward facing dog. And then from here, let's take the right leg back, step the right foot all the way through, open up warrior two, and then reverse. Come back to two, interlace the hands behind the back, open chest and shoulders. Option one, you can stay upright. Option two, you can melt. Bring right ribs towards right and thigh. Let the head fully release. Letting shoulders open, breathing here. Three breaths. One more breath. Nice and slow release. You're gonna to turn towards the left and take a wide-legged fold. Any variation of your choice, you can move the hips, you can bend your knees, get deeper into the hips, you can keep legs extended to stretch backs of legs, your choice. If you need a little bit more into the shoulders, you can interlace hands, and let the head fully release. And just pause here for three breaths. And then nice and easy release. Turn towards the top of the mat and move through your flow. Back to downward facing. And then cleanse the breath. Right in through the nose. Exhale right out of your mouth. One more full breath all the way in. Exhale release. And then start to step left foot forward. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse. And then come back to two. Interlace the hands. Open the chest and shoulders. Now option one, you stay upright. Option two, you start to melt. Left ribs, left inner thigh, head releases. Breathing here for three. For two. And one nice and easy release. You're gonna to pivot towards the right side and then take your wide-legged fold. Hi. <laughs> and then just hold your wide leg and breathing for three, for two, and one. You're gonna release, turn back to the top of your mat, move through your flow, back to downward facing. And then release downward dog, full breath, right in through the nose, right out of your mouth. Good, from here, empty all the out of your lungs, make your way right to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And then sit low right into the Kutasana chair pose, hold. From here, you can either just stay still or you can layer on a little pulse. Pull belly in, knit low ribs in for five, four, three, two, one, hold. Good, now slowly come to sit. And then from here, let's contract back. Maybe today you keep your feet right onto the floor. Pull the belly in, extend through the arms. Lift the right, lift the left. And again, you can always keep your feet on the floor. From here, hold, breathe five. Pull up, sit tall. For three, for two, option one, you can stay. Option two, you're gonna release back, hover, hold. Pull the belly in. Inhale, lift, extend, up, extend, and up. Two more, breathe, extend, or you're holding your half bow. One more, breathe, hold three, for two, for one, release. Step back, plank, stay, hold plank. Nice and strong, puff up, for three. For two, take the flow or go right back to downward facing dog, your choice. Once you arrive in your downward dog, full breath, right in through the nose, right out of your mouth. And just simmer here for three breaths. Slow the breath. One more. Good, from here, take the right leg up and back. Send the right knee right in towards the nose. Hold it there. Kiss the right knee to the right tricep. And then hover the right knee to the right wrist. Hold. For three. For two. Now pick it back up to the right tricep. Now you're going to take your right leg, etc. 
Send it all the way through to the left side to get a nice big stretch into the right leg. Hips go back like downward facing dog. And then just pause here, breathe. You can stay here or you can pivot and drop the left foot in towards the mat. We'll turn this into fallen triangle, your choice. And just take three breaths. One more breath. Good, take the hand back to the floor. Press into both hands, pick your right leg up, come through into right side pigeon. And then let your body just settle right in. You can melt down, let the torso rest. You can take any expression, any variation of your choice. Make sure there's no pain and pressure into the right knee, and then just allow yourself just to settle right in. You can make two fists, and then rest the forehead onto the two fists. And just close your eyes, and allow your body just to settle right in. Let the breath slow down. Breathing into the sensations of the stretch. Letting your mind slow down. And just surrendering into the breath. And then take one more full inhale. Full exhale. And then nice and slow. Press into your hands. Bring yourself up. Curl the back toes under. And then send yourself right back into plank. You can move through your flow or go straight to downward facing, your choice. Once you arrive in downward dog, cleanse the breath all the way in through the nose, out through the mouth. One. From here, take the left leg back. Send the left knee right in towards your nose. Hold it there, breathe for three. For two. Left knee, left tricep. And then start to hover right down to the wrist. Breathe. You're holding to the wrist for three. For two. For one. Pick it back up. Now extend the left leg towards the right side. Hips go back. It's light downward dog. And then just breathe here. Option one, you can stay. Option two, pivot right foot down. Open it up. Take fall and triangle. And just breathe into the stretch. Take one more breath. Nice and slow. Take the right hand to the mat. Press into both hands. Pick the left leg up. Settle into left side pigeon. Settle in nice and slow. Be mindful of the left knee. And then just let yourself release. Close your eyes as you settle in. Coming into an observation of the breath. Observing the physical body. And just allowing yourself to fully slow down. If your mind starts to race, come back to the breath. And send the breath into the deepest areas you feel the stretch. Take two more breaths. And then nice and slow. Press into your hands. Press the torso up. Curl the back toes under. You're going to step back into your plank. Hold plank. Option one, you flow. Option two, you go right back to downward facing dog. And then cleanse the breath. Right in through the nose, exhale right out of your mouth. Just simmer in your downward dog for three breaths. Stay connected into all ten finger cuts. Take one more breath. Good. From here, let's set the right foot all the way through. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, take the arms up. Breathe in. And then start to interlace the hands behind the back, opening the chest. Breathe into the sensation of the stretch. See if you can hug the belly in, lift up, keep it strong and active into the legs. And then take one more breath. And then again, really straighten the front foot with both hands. Come back to that half split. Lengthen through the spine. And just breathe into the hands. 
hamstring stretch. Take one more breath. Nice and slow, step into the right foot. Move through your flow. Back to downward facing. Take your time, don't rush. Move with the breath. One breath downward facing dog all the way in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Then from here, left leg lifts. Step the left foot up in between your hands. Lower your right knee down. And again, working to feel the space between the front and the back leg. Take the arms up. One breath. Get really rooted into the feet. Pull up the pelvic floor, navel to spine. And then interlace the hands behind the back. Open the chest, the shoulders. And then just breathe into the stretch. Stay really connected into the feet, into the legs. Take one more breath. And then nice and easy release. Frame the front foot with both hands. Send the hips back. Take your half split hamstring stretch. Lengthen through the spine. Take two full breaths, slowing everything down. One more breath. Okay, nice and easy. Step into the left foot, step back plank, move through your flow back to downward facing. Blending the breath as you ride in the downward dog, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then nice and easy, just slowly come to sit. Bring soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall open, and then nice and easy, just hinge at the hips. Let your torso melt over the legs. Softening into the hips, softening into the knees. Close your eyes, just breathe into the stretch. Allow your jaw to soften. Take one more breath. And then nice and easy, come all the way up. Good. You're going to make your way onto your back. And as you come onto your back, hug your knees right into your chest. Rock side to side. And then keep the right knee hugged in with the left leg extend all the way down the mat. Work the right knee more towards the right shoulder. And then just feel the left to ground, left leg lengthen. And then if this feels good, you can stay here or maybe turn this into a single leg happy baby, holding the outer edge of your right foot, grounding down in through the left hip. Breathing for three, for two. And then let's take a nice easy twist. Guide the leg across the body, let the right shoulder melt. Close your eyes and just breathe into the twist. As you inhale, feel the chest rise. And as you exhale, feel the shoulder to chest drop. And then nice and slow, come back to center. And then switch sides. Left knee hugs right into the chest. Give the knee a good squeeze. And just stay here, option one or option two. Hold outer edge of left foot, coming into your single leg, happy baby. Grounding down to the right hip, right leg. Breathing into the sensation of the stretch. And just letting everything slow down. And then nice and easy, you can start to take your twist. Left leg comes across the body, left shoulder melts. And again, focusing on the breath, feeling the rise of the chest on the inhale. And as you exhale, letting the body just melt a little deeper. Take one more nice, easy breath. And then nice and slow, come back to center. Give your legs a nice big squeeze. And then cactus the arms. And then take the legs right up. 
if you feel anything in your low back, just bring your feet to the floor and you can let the knees knock together, or you can hold the backs of the legs for extra support. Just reversing the flow of blood. And just close your eyes. And just feel the weight of your body sink heavy. Come back to the quality of your breath. Nice, long, slow inhales. And exhale. Take one more easy breath. Nice and slow, bring the feet to the floor, let the feet touch, soles the feet together, knees fall open. And you can bring your arms anywhere that feels comfortable. And if you want to feel a little bit more space, a little length into the neck, you can take your hands behind the back of the neck, lengthen through the spine. Maybe press your finger pads gently into the base of the skull. Give yourself a little massage. And then return the head long back to the mat. And then just close your eyes. Stay exactly as you are and just let yourself settle into your final rest. Coming into Shavasana. Letting the legs extend long down the mat. Allow yourself to take up space. Close your eyes. And just let yourself find some gratitude for being able to take this time to move, to breathe, to come back together. Observe your physical body. Allow your muscles to soften the grip around the bones. And allow your bones to melt and sink deeper into the surface beneath you. Allow the thoughts to start to slow and be still. Allow the breath to be as effortless as possible. And allow a sensation of calm to start to wash over the mind, the body, the breath. And allow yourself to find so much gratitude to be able to move, to breathe to be well. And let yourself just surrender into this rest. community. Let's take one nice easy breath all the way in through the nose. Exhale, release right out of your mouth. Just keep your eyes closed. Gently move through your fingers, your toes. Maybe come into a nice big full body stretch. And then nice and slow, hug your knees right into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. And then just slowly fall to one side, resting heavy. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bring yourself back up to a comfortable seated shape. I'm going to get a little bit closer. And then slowly bring your hands together at your heart. Just close your eyes. And then let's
Let's take one full inhale all the way in. Exhale, release. I thank you all so, so much for joining me this morning for your continued support. My thoughts are with you. My intentions and my prayers are with you. I miss you all. Namaste. I'm going to turn the comments back on. Um, okay, so thank you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna do this again tomorrow, uh, I think at 10 a.m. Um, if there's anything you want, I don't know how that went. Um, I hope it was okay. So if there's anything you want, um, message me. You can direct message me either on the Chi Junkie Instagram or um, my personal Instagram, Rochelle Winson. Um, yeah, let me know, because this is for you guys. So um, let me know what you need, let me know what you want. Um, and then this is just a 45 minute kind of flow, but starting um, hopefully Monday, I'm gonna try to work around the clock and, and figure all this stuff out um, and get Zoom classes up. So there'll be longer full length classes um, and hopefully have that happening every single day for you guys. And then as I have more um, resources, um, funding, I'm going to hopefully be able to bring back some of our instructors and be able to pay them um, their full teaching rate to be able to teach classes for you guys at Chi Junkie. Um, so yeah, so please, please, please continue to support um, and tell me what you need. Uh, I'm going to, before Instagram kicks me off, um, I'm just reading some of these comments. Um, okay, awesome. Oh, hi Mills. Hi. <laughs> um, this is awesome. This is so great. Um, and then I will uh, save this and then put this up so you have it, I guess, for the next 24 hours. Um, and then, yeah, join me back tomorrow. Um, keep sending your support. Again, you can purchase retail. Um, the merch highlight wheel on Instagram has all of the gear that we've got. You can email the studio um, what you want and then we can package it all up together uh, for you and then get it out to you. Um, yeah, just, uh, just stay strong, everybody. Stay strong. We will get through this. Um, and then we will come back together better, stronger, more connected than ever. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. I love you all. Bye. Are you sure you want to end your live video? End.